What is up, loves? Welcome back What's to another Grand Theft Auto Online grinding video. My name is Darkside. So this is going to be the week for you to grind out your motorcycle club stuff. I'm talking about the businesses, they're going to be double money, they're paying double money, and then the motorcycle clubhouse contracts inside of your clubhouse or that you, on the wall there, inside of your meeting room, or what they call chapel or church or whatever. Inside of that room, uh, with the long table on the wall, there's going to be those motorcycle club contracts. And they're paying triple money. All right, so you're gonna be in and out of here pretty much most of the week. So one of the other passive businesses besides the mechanic shop that you have to purchase to fix up bikes and sell them to, to people, that's one of the passive incomes, but also you have the bar. All you have to do is go and do a bar resupply run and bring the truck back full of liquor back to your motorcycle clubhouse. Now you're gonna see here basically what I wound up doing is I went out to the location and I called in a cargo box. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because rather than getting inside the truck and as soon as you start the mission, you're going to have a shitload of lost MC guys coming at you. They're going to be tearing up your inventory, you're going to be trying to drive off road, you're going to get the truck tore up, you're going to lose probably more than half of your inventory. And the crazy thing about it is if you only bring like a half a truck back, you're going to have to do another resupply run in like a half an hour. Okay. Whereas to if you bring a full truck back, you'll have more like an hour to resupply. You'll have to go do another resupply in about an hour or so. A little bit more time, you know, it saves you a little bit of time. But you're gonna be in and out of here all week. So you're gonna see here, I took the cargo bob, I wound up lifting it up, and I went kind of off-road with it. You know, like over the highways, over the mountains, so the lost MC guys couldn't really follow me, okay? They did still shoot me, they did still tear me up just a little bit, but I only lost like a sliver of, of inventory. If I was driving this thing, forget it. I would be fucking probably only like half a truck I would bring back. So that's why I'm suggesting to use the cargo bob. Because believe it or not, look, you're gonna see. I lose like only a sliver of inventory. If I was to bring this thing on ground, man, I would probably only bring back half a truck and it's not even worth it. So yeah, just do it that way. Pick it up with a cargo bob and kind of, you know, just dodge all the MC guys. Because they don't go off road, the lost MC guys. They don't follow you off into the mountains or nothing. Which is kind of weird because, uh, and also like how slow this fucking cargo bob is going. I can lift up a tank and bring it to my bunker faster than I can this truck. And I guarantee that this truck full of liquor isn't even half the weight of a fucking tank. Uh, it doesn't even make any sense. But it's going so fucking slow. Like, really, really slow. But yeah, right over here, I came over the city, over the mountains, and uh, I wound up going and setting it down gently. Don't drop it down from a high height, because then you're going to take more damage on your inventory. Kind of just set it down, unlatch it, and then drive it into the yellow spot and, and deliver it. And then that's it. And then you will probably have to do it for like an hour again. Trust me, it's so much easier using a cargo box to do this shit. It doesn't pay you a lot of money, but it is a little bit of extra income. And like I said, you're going to be in and out of here probably most of the week doing your, you know, motorcycle club contracts and buying businesses and things like that. You might as well do it. You know what I mean? So you might as well do it. A little bit of extra money for you. And uh, yeah, set it down. I went, got in the driver's seat, drove it into the yellow spot, and then it was done. It took me like, I don't know, five minutes, six minutes, something like that to do. Yeah, so anyway, just wanted to put this one up and show you guys, yes, to use the cargo bob. You can use the cargo bob for this. And uh, it just makes it a hell of a lot easier. So, uh, all right, guys, I got to go. I got to get back to work. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And hopefully this shit was helpful. And like I said, you're going to be here anyway doing the contracts. You might as well stock the bar and, and keep it, you know what I mean? Replenish it and get the extra money. Might as well. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. Peace.